onion. Hi guys, welcome. Today we are cooking some delicious Alaskan salmon with some shrimp and asparagus. Okay, so let's get some um, excellent olive oil on your skillet here. It's already warming up, you guys. How's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome. This is the olive oil I used. And then we're going to add some Falfurria's butter, which is the best butter in Texas. For baking, for cooking, it's amazing. So let's add some butter as well. It's ready. So will that melt a little bit? <clears throat> okay, guys, before I put this on the hot plate here, we are going to add one of my new favorite seasonings. It is so delicious. Um, it's called Dos Gringos Chupacabra Season All, and it's a special blend. Do you all remember that? Um, fable or tale or whatever about the chupacabra in South Texas. Okay, so I'm seasoning the side that I'm going to put down on the grill first. Be generous. It's not a hot seasoning. So then we're going to put that on there. Skin side will go down in a little bit. So while that is cooking, can y'all see? Okay, so then we will season the top here. Add some more of that delicious chupacabra. Not a funny name. I'm gonna put it right here so y'all can see it. Well, maybe y'all will see it in a little bit, okay? And I'm already thirsty, so let's have some green tea. Cheers, everyone. So, this doesn't take long to cook at all. 
you will be enjoying your delicious salmon asparagus meal in no time. So over here, we're gonna add another pat of butter. More butter makes it more better, right? And we are going to put the asparagus, which I have. All ready for us to go. That one doesn't have a little top. Can y'all see that? So I have been getting a lot of, um, not a lot, but I've been getting some requests on cooking and eating. So that's what we're going to do here today is show you how I prepare my uh, Alaskan salmon with um, asparagus and shrimp. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil to this side. And my grill here, guys, is set at 50-375. And it was already preheated up for us. So we'll let that go for a little bit. And let's add some lemon juice. Got some lemons right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion that I chopped earlier. It's one, it's about a fourth of a yellow onion. I really don't eat the onion, but I like the flavor and I think it just makes it look pretty. So there's the onion. I'm always wiping my fingertips, cleaning my hands, you guys. It's just a terrible habit. So, to the asparagus, I'm only going to add a little bit of the red um, chili flakes. And a little bit on the salmon here. Okay. So, I do have some questions. People sent in some questions so I could answer while we do this. So I'll do 10 uh, questions that they sent me and then we'll do 10 later. Maybe a little bit extra um, when we're ready to eat. I turned off the air conditioning guys so it's warm in here. Warm. So like I said, it's um, it's about a half a pound of salmon. Maybe it's a pound. I think it's a pound. And I got just a bunch of asparagus. I got one lemon. I think I have about seven, seven <laughs> um, shelled and deveined shrimp here with the tail on. Um, I did get me, I did boil some white rice. And we're going to try and crack an egg on it, a uh, sunny side up egg on there. And we did use the Falfurrias butter. Like I said, best butter in Texas for cooking and baking. It's excellent. I'm not sponsored by any of these individuals of the things that I am showing. So, okay you guys, this is looking and it's smelling so, so good. So you can tell like um, on your salmon, um, it's already about halfway cooked that it's changing color. The onions smell delicious. Everything is just amazing. So once you get about halfway there, then you're ready to flip. And once you put it on, on uh, skin side down, it doesn't take any, you know, it doesn't take long at all. I do like to char it a little bit, get a little bit of a color there. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh my gosh. And I don't overcook my asparagus either. I like it a little bit al dente oh my gosh you guys if y'all could just have smell of vision youtube this is the one without a little head so i think i'm gonna pitch it it doesn't look pretty on that
So there we go. Okay. So, first question. If y'all want to send any questions, just put them in the comments below. And when we have our next um, cooking um, and eating um, broadcast or video that I upload, I will read those out for you, okay? Okay. Why well, need the why put the cap on, right? Okay, first question. Do I like cheeseburgers or hot dogs? I love cheeseburgers and I will have hot dogs, so both. Where do I live? I live in Texas, South Texas. Do I prefer, what do I prefer to drink? Tequila, whiskey, or vodka? Well, I like all of them. Um, I do, uh, my friends, I tell them who are my favorite men or who, which men can I count on? Well, it's like Jose Cuervo, Don Julio, uh, Captain Morgan, uh, Jimmy Walker. Those are my favorite men, you guys. Do I believe in ghosts? Yes, the Holy Ghost first. But yes, I think there's good spirits and bad spirits out there. Um, what do I drink in the morning? I drink hot coffee usually. And uh, when it's winter outside or whatever, that it's cooler in South Texas, believe it or not, I will drink hot tea instead of coffee also in the morning. It just depends on what I feel on that particular day. Salmon is looking good, you guys. Everything's looking good. Okay, so what do I prefer? What season? Summer, winter, spring, or autumn? Well, in Texas, I love all seasons. But in Texas, I think, I think, my favorite season is spring. You see the blossoms coming up. Everything is so pretty. Usually we get spring, um, April showers. Um, and usually the cold is gone by then if we had any cold weather in South Texas. And of course, I love the summer. It does get super hot and humid where I live, um, but I love it. Do I have any phobias? No, I don't have any phobias that I can think of. Um, not afraid of heights, not afraid of the water, not afraid of the sky. Not afraid of spiders. I don't like them. I don't like spiders and snakes and things like that. But I don't have a coat there. They don't freak me out, I guess. Do I prefer rain or snow? Well, we're in South Texas. Uh, last year, we had snow flurries two weeks apart, you guys. And that is like a freak of nature for us because it never snows or it doesn't stay on the ground for very long, but it was awesome to see. And it was right during Christmas, uh, two weeks apart, we had snow. But I prefer the rain. I love the rain. I love the thunder. I love the lightning. Um, I love to drink, you know, hot coffee or a hot tea and soup, you know, or a scone. Oh my goodness, I love the rain. Number of children that I have, I have two. I have a son and I have a daughter who are adults and they live away from home. And have I had any surgeries? No, I haven't had any surgeries besides uh, wisdom teeth I got pulled out if you consider that a surgery. Well, they put me out, so I guess, I don't know. What do you consider a surgery? I guess that would be a surgery, you guys, right? So those are 10 questions for now. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you like to eat or which alcoholic beverage you like. Okay, so I think my asparagus is ready. So we're going to transfer that to the platter. The platter right over here. Try not to burn myself. And I don't think I can eat all of this, you guys, but... I'm going to share with my mom. Oh my goodness, you guys. Perfect.
Look at those onions grilling. Let me swap them out a little bit so I can put these on top. It's almost ready for its flip, you guys. So let me add a little bit more lemon. And while that is cooking, let's add our shrimp, okay? This is Texas golf shrimp, of course. I didn't get the really big one because it didn't look super fresh to me. But these take no time to cook, as I'm sure you know. I got a huge bag, you guys, but I only pulled out, of course, what I was going to eat today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shrimp, lucky seven. And let's add some lemon. And let me put a pack of butter on there too. There we go. Doesn't that look amazing? So these take no time to cook. They'll be ready in no time. Awesome. What are y'all having for lunch today? This is like early dinner, late lunch. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited. I'm hitting those goals in YouTube. Thanks to all of you who have watch my videos there's all kinds of things in my channel everything from my antique store to downtown where i live where my store is actually the places we go the things i love to eat um the talk -a tour that i do the diy painting that i do the diy projects there's all kinds of things a little bit for everybody let me know if you want me to show you how to cook something or you're interested on in how I prepare my meals. Um, we all prepare meals differently, you guys. We all love different things. So there's no right way and no wrong way. Whatever you enjoy is the right way. Whatever you and your family love is what you need to cook, right? So let me give these a flip and then we'll take them out in just a second. one got really toasty okay you guys now moment of truth let's check this and see how it's looking it usually does not stick if I use butter and olive oil it's ready you guys it's nice it's got nice color look at that beautiful what gives it more color also is of course uh, that seasoning that I'm using it is a little bit thicker on this side so I'm going to hold it down for a little bit and our shrimp are ready so I'll put those on the platter you don't want to overcook those because they will get tough Somebody likes grilled onions. Those are ready for you. Oh my goodness. Okay, while well that's cooking, um, I think all we have to do is do the fried egg, you guys. So, this is the rice, and I'm going to turn it over on my platter here. And then we're going to put a fried egg on it, okay? Let's see if it'll come out because I steamed it and I didn't let it get cool. So okay. Let's do a fried egg right there. It's already got enough butter, so Let's hope we can get the perfect egg here.
Does that look delicious? What is your favorite part so far? Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. It's making me hungry. So I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper to this. And a little bit of the red pepper flakes. It's just red pepper flakes that I put in a little antique jar here. So we'll let that cook, you guys. And the salmon is about ready. I like to eat the skin, too. If it gets real nice and crispy, I love the skin. So the platter is ready. Add some more, oops, oh my God, I dropped the lemons. Right on the yolk, no problem. That's cooking, that's cooking. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so ready to eat. So ready to eat. So exciting. So we used up all the lemon except for that one that fell in the yolk and I threw that one out. Let me squeeze whatever we can get out of this one. I do have more on the platter, but I like it over there because it makes it look pretty. My mouth is watering. So I have one, two, three, four, five little dishes I need to contend with when I'm done. And now I'll have the hot plate and my serving platter, my cutting board, and my utensils that I use to clean when we're all done. If anybody wants to come over to the cleaning party, ah! I didn't want to come over to the cleaning party. Okay, my egg is almost done, you guys. And then... Um, I'm going to remove the salmon and put it on the platter and remove the egg and put it on my white rice, steamed rice, and then we're ready to chow down. Maybe I should remove the onions so they just look pretty on the platter over here. It smells so good, you guys. My favorite onion is the yellow onion. Look at that salmon getting so flaky. I think it's ready. Okay, my egg is almost ready. So, Transpose this to the platter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Wait till y'all see. Okay, my egg is ready, so let's turn this off. And Okay guys, here it is. Here's the fried egg. Right on the rice. Get our 
napkins here. Our drink. And it doesn't need anything else, you guys. So are we ready to eat? So bless, O oh Lord, this food we are about to eat. May you sanctify it by your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Awesome, you guys. So, look at this beautiful egg. So, let's make it... Are we ready? So I've got a few more questions while we eat and let's enjoy this, okay? So like I said, it's Alaskan salmon, some uh, asparagus, steamed rice, a fried egg on top, and some Texas golf shrimp. So let me show you this, you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. So good. And it took what? 10, 15 minutes? Mm. Delicious. that seasoning is amazing you guys i don't get paid to uh promote it but i love it if y'all can find it you should get it we have um our local um heb food stores that carries it mm -mm -mm -mm. so good let's have a little shrimp Oh my gosh, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna use this bowl for the little tails. Some asparagus. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is just, you don't even need a knife, but for manner purposes. <laughs> Let's try the asparagus. Perfect. You cook it the way you want. Mine is a little bit al dente. It's so good. Maybe a little bit less time on the egg so it, it can be a little bit runnier. I like to grab them from the little tails. Oh my goodness. Delicious. Look how flaky that is. I'm going to try the onions. Let me just get a few more bites and then I'll read the rest of the questions. So good. A little bit of salmon, a little bit of white rice, a little bit of that yolk. Delicious. That's all I can say, my favorite word. Oh 
Okay. Next question. Do you own a gun? Hello, I'm in Texas. No comment. What do y'all think? Put it in the comments below. Do I like mustard? I do like mustard on certain things, but I think I love mayonnaise more. Uh, favorite type of food? Seafood. I love seafood, you guys. And we live so close to the Gulf of Mexico and we have excellent seafood here. We don't have lobster. We don't have snow crabs, but we can get them flown in. Okay. Tattoos. Do I have any tattoos? No, I don't. No, I don't. I was brought up in a family that my grandmother said, my mother said, God sent you perfectly made. If he would have wanted you to be born with tattoos, he would have put a birthmark on you. And I do have a birthmark, a mole. Um, you came with a perfect body into this world, treated as your temple, respect what God gave you. Not that I have anything against tattoos, you guys. I think some of those tattoos are just amazing, a work of art. So, I'm going to eat some skin. So, I never got one. I was too afraid, I guess. I can tolerate pain, but I just never got a tattoo. Oh my God, you guys. Even the skin. Look, this is skin. Where the scales are. It's so So good. Trying to keep it pretty, but sometimes it doesn't work, right? Some of that fried egg. Next question. Do I wear glasses? Uh, yes. I hit 40. Excuse me. I hit 40. I couldn't see the fine little print. I remember I used to make fun of my mom and dad because they would grab the, back then we had phone books or newspaper or whatever and they would like. And now, look at me. I hit 40 and I can't see fine print. Okay, well done you guys, let's have a little shrimp, and I haven't eaten the onions, let me have some onions, I do like them, I just, I can go either way, with or without them, but they're grilled really nicely. I do love grilled onions. With all that butter, olive oil, salmon juice, shrimp juice. Good. I love bread. You don't even need the bread with this. I guess the rice. But I love bread. Tortillas, corn tortillas, flour tortillas, any kind of tortilla. Okay, let's get some veggie in. Get the greens in.
so good. I tried ordering that Be Loves sauce uh, packages. Every time I go on Amazon to order it, everything's going well. There's my poor egg, you guys. Everything's going well till I press checkout. I get everything but because it's sold out. And it doesn't look well, it does say sometimes that it's sold out. But the last time I tried getting it, which was Wednesday, I think. It looked like I was going to get it, and I was so excited. And when I went to check out, it said sold out. Okay. Hmm. What can I do? Keep trying. So excited with my food that I have forgotten to mention please share like follow subscribe the main thing subscribe put a comment down below support the channel it's growing it's growing I love it but I just think Sometimes people don't want to be filmed, so I film them anyway. Oh my god, you guys. Look how flaky that is. Look at that. Let me show you. It's like a steak. Look at that. So good, you guys. Delicious. Okay. One more shrimp. After that one, one left. What is my nickname? They want to know. I have many. But the most popular is my or Bell. B E L L E. You guys, it is so moist, so flaky. Highly recommend for you to go to your grocer, buy yourself half a pound, a pound, whatever size you want. You can grill it in the oven. You can pan grill it. Grill it on a skillet like the one I have. Covered in foil with butter and onions and celery. Oh my gosh. 20 minutes or so in the grill. In the oven. Wrapped in foil. You will not be disappointed. If y'all have any other grilling or salmon... Alaskan salmon recipes that y'all want to share comment down below next question um, three drinks I did drink on a daily basis three drinks I drink on a daily basis
I would say coffee or hot tea, cold tea I love also, you know, we're from the south, iced tea, green tea, hot or cold, love, I love Coca-Cola, try not to drink it, I love it you guys. That is a seed. I try not to drink it because I love it with lots of ice. Oh my God. And what else? Water. I try and drink a lot of water and I do like it. And then my favorite man, the alcohol. I like a dirty Coke, which is Coke with a little bit of one of my favorite men. Last shrimp. What's my biggest downfall? What is my biggest downfall? That I care. That I care, I think. That I care too much about things that I shouldn't care about. Things I shouldn't worry about because nothing will change. In some circumstances, in people, or just because you don't like the way things are sometimes, there's nothing you can do about it. You gotta accept it. I made a mess of my plate. Sorry. But it's good. Any piercings? Do I have any piercings? I have two ear piercings on each ear. And that's it. Don't have any more. Am I employed? Am I employed? I'm self-employed. I have several businesses. The one um, that takes up, that I love, that takes up my most time, that I'm spend more time on is, I have an antique store. We do estate sales. Um, I do DIY, I repurpose, repaint, reuse furniture. So I sell DIY paint. I work or I'm a designer for Chalk Couture, which is a direct sale company. I love it. It's lots of fun. I love the beautiful home decor you can do with it. I have vendors, so it's like an antique mall. I have vendors in my store. I rent out 
my tea room. So someone else manages the tea room. I used to bake and cook and take care of the customers and everything and got tired you guys because I would hire young people to help me. Waitresses, uh, sous chefs, you know, just people to help me in the tea room, in the kitchen. Nobody wants to work. I pay them well, plus tips, but they won't stay off their cell phone when they're at work. Constant problem. Or they have no responsibility, no loyalty, no commitment. And if they wake up that morning and they don't want to come in, they don't feel like coming in, they just call in at the last minute. Some of them don't even call in. I have to call them or text them. Coming in today? Oh, miss, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to come in. I went to a party last night. I drank a little bit too much. And I've got a terrible headache. Can I pick up my check? Because I need gas money. Well, when are you coming in? Well, as soon as I get rid of my headache, maybe in a day or so, I'll be there. They want nice things. They want beautiful stuff. They want a party. I was young once, too. But, to be responsible. If you don't want to work, don't apply. What do y'all think? Comment down below. Oh my gosh, I'm getting full. <sighs> what else? I have some more, but should I save them? Or should we go through them while I eat some more? Look, you guys, look. Let me show you. Look how flaky that is. So good and so good for you. Just a little bit of butter. Grilled onions are fabulous. I tell you I don't like it and I keep grabbing. Sorry, I got a phone call.
Okay. Next question I got was, what's my favorite color? All of them are my favorite colors. It all depends, right? I'm partial to black. I like it. Pink. Purple. Purple rain. What else? I love white. White and black. I love grays. Black, gray, white, classic colors never go out of style. Can I whistle? Nope. You can barely, I can barely hear it. Anyone can barely hear it. Do I have brothers and sisters? I have two brothers and I'm the only girl. No sisters. Am I religious? Yes, I believe. I'm a Christian. I'm Catholic. Shower or bathe? I like both. Usually, it's a daily shower, right? Sometimes two. One to wake me up, one to put me to bed. But I do love a bath. Gamble, do I gamble? No, not really. I'll buy a lottery ticket every now and then and we call that gambling. <laughs> Am I loyal? Yes, to a fault. I love my friends. I love my family. I love my customers. I love my viewers. I love my subscribers. Yes. If you uh, want me to follow you, subscribe to you, like you, share you, just let me know. I'm more than happy to do it. Sometimes I do it without even asking you if I can do it. Have I broken any bones? Somebody else's or mine? Ha! No, I haven't broken anybody else's bones and I haven't broken mine. How many TVs do we have in our house? One in each bedroom. One in the kitchen. One in the family room. One in my studio. And that's about it. But you know what, guys? Lately, I do watch TV, but I'm not hooked on it. I DVR my shows that I love, and I watch them, excuse me, later when I have time. But lately, I'm just stuck to my iPad, excuse me, my uh, laptop, or my phone, watching YouTube, watching Instagram, watching Facebook. Look at that. Oh, my God. Do I like to dance? Yes. and dance as often as I can every day do your little happy dance <clears throat> do I like camping when I was young yes now we love to go glamping or we love to go to the island stay in a nice hotel nice condo 
really nice condo. That's what we call glamping. We go fishing, come in, shower, change, have dinner, whatever. Go out to the bar, have a drink, watch people dance, dance yourself. That's what I call glamping now. <laughs> well, there you go, you guys. I'm done. I ate a little bit more than half of the salmon. I ate about half of the asparagus. I ate my whole cup of rice, just left a little bit. I ate seven shrimp, um, full. I think this is gonna be for dinner as well. I'll probably just have the dessert or something later. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, if you need a certain ingredients that you want that uh, you can't get just um, drop me a message if you want some falfurrias butter that's hard to ship because you have to ship it in dry ice but you get four sticks of butter in here and it comes salted and unsalted and it's the best butter falfurrias butter falfurrias is a town here in texas south texas this um, you can get at H-E-B and it's called Two Gringos Chupacabra or that alien looking animal that was supposedly killing goats and cows and stuff like that. Uh, Texas tail <laughs> here in Texas. But it's so good you guys. The blends in there. They have a spicy one. They have one for meat. They have one for fish, seafood. Uh, they have one to make soups. It is so good, but this one's my favorite one and it says uh, Season all It's chupalicious Chupa means like suck in Spanish uh, And it's the special blend And there it's got that weird animal that you don't know what it is if it's a goat a dog a cat a cow but it would kill animals supposedly so anyway that's really really good i love it till i get my bee love sauce and then this is the olive oil i love to use you can put it on salads you can drizzle on bread it can be dipping with a seasonings for your bread love it if you have any other questions but the steam rice was just steam rice uncle ben steam rice real quick so that is it you guys have a blessed day thanks for watching like i said please share subscribe like follow post a comment love to hear from you uh, so have a great day the choice is yours bye